might have bought Doge as a joke, but today the price is no joke. Dogecoin hit a record high on Tuesday, and we've been talking about it the entire show. Bitcoin and Ether also reached all-time highs. Everything is, seems like it's at an all-time high today. Why? But why? My question is why? Why is, is Doge rallying? And I don't really have an answer. I initially thought maybe people thought that they could trade Doge on Coinbase, which they cannot, but I don't know. Do you guys have any thoughts? That's a great question. I mean, it's been very, like, people like Elon Musk have been very public about Doge. It's in the people's mindset. So maybe, I don't know, maybe people are excited and riding on everything. Like, I mean, when things like this happen and when you have random coins kind of start to appear in the top 10, it always makes me take a second to say, are these numbers real? And actually, Zuko had a um, a great tweet where he said, you know, if, if he's trying to figure out the, the correct state of the markets, he looks at Masari's data set and filters only by coins that have a market cap of over a billion dollars, real volume of over $100 million a day, transaction volume of over $100 million a day, and payments of over $10,000 a day. And so I was like, I'm going to check out the Doge, like what's actually going on there? And sure enough, it's still right up there around the same position it is and say coincap.io. So, you know, it, th these numbers are real for Doge and I'm so confused. <laughs> and I think what's well, confusing we here too is we're Doge seeing this- more seriously? <laughs> no, but <laughs> I think what's uh, so interesting here is we're seeing this immediate spike like right now as Bitcoin is also booming because for a little while there, Bitcoin was kind of hovering around that 50,000 range and you were seeing a little bit of an alt season with altcoins sort of rising as uh, people were looking at trading those as Bitcoin was settling for a bit. But now Bitcoin's on the move again and Doge is kind of moving with it. So that's just a bizarre thing to me. But, you know, Zach, what are your thoughts on this one? I know you had some maybe some counterfactuals here. I don't know about counterfactuals, but yeah, okay. I think it just like goes to, I don't know. Like, I think I too am confused. I share Naomi's sentiment. You know, there's, it's really hard to attribute causality in some of these markets. And I think like people have often fallen into the trap of over indexing causal relationships in crypto. I know I have, you know, like I want to be able to like, well, it's happening for this reason. And sure enough, it's something that's totally not on my radar and is, is probably more significant for, you know, whatever is happening in the market than, than I would have assumed previously. So I think like maybe there's like ambient awareness of crypto and Bitcoin and maybe Doge is sort of an on-ramp for the crypto curious when like it starts bubbling up into more mainstream conversations. But again, those are like heavy maybes and I have no really insight into why or how Doge does what it does. But Will, I saw you had something. Yeah. Yeah, really quick before I jump. Yeah, that tagline, like uh, the tide brings in all boats or whatever it is, or tide lifts all boats, um, butchering that right now, I think it's just true here. Like, <laughs> the price of Bitcoin goes up, then everything else is going to go up. And like, let me just read you really quickly, like today's top gainers. It's like 56% for the token liquidity. Has anyone heard of that? Probably not. The Foon token has gained 36% today. The DayQ quote token, yeah. Foon token, T H O O N. Okay. So it's just like oh, random okay. tokens just <laughs> go off. You know, it's just that's just the nature of crypto. It's not necessarily, there's no sense to it. It just happens. And that's part of the fun. You know, fun, going off of also what you're saying, Zach, I, I think change. people are probably. No worries. People are, are obviously hearing a lot more about Bitcoin, especially with uh, Coinbase listing today. And maybe they're starting to learn about Bitcoin and they maybe don't understand that, you know, you don't have to own one whole Bitcoin to participate in, Bi participate in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And Doge is cheaper. Elon Musk talks about it. Mark Cuban talks about it. There's a cute dog attached to it. Maybe it is that entry ramp and, and people are seeing it as something that they can participate in when uh, Bitcoin seems a little bit more unattainable. Oh, those people need better I, education. I agree. Oh, yeah. gosh. I think, <laughs> I think it could certainly be that. I mean, it could be that. It could be something else. It could just be like people on Reddit, like talking or I don't know, people on Discord or wherever. But I think, yeah, Doge could certainly be like, you know, we talk about like fiat, we talk about fiat on ramps often, but like, Doge, again, could be like the the, the on-ramp to the crypto ecosystem for a broader audience. And, and if that's the way it is, that's the way it is.